Mr. Speaker, last week Tom Donahue, the president of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, said that if House Republicans fail to pass an immigration bill this year, the Republican Party should, quote, not bother to run a candidate in 2016. Even with a majority of Republican voters supporting immigration reform, and yes, a majority of Tea Party voters in support, the positions Republican candidates feel they must take in order to win over their base make them unelectable when they face the American people in the general election. Latino voters are repelled, and the loud but small contingent of rep immigration opponents have backed the Republican Party into a corner that they don't have the courage to break out of. So, Mr. Speaker, I give you George W. Bush, the man who will go down in history as the last Republican president in American history. Tom Donahue is right. There is a demographic reality that will make Republicans a footnote in history. Just like the Whigs and the know-nothings, unless they do something to get immigration issue off the table. Look, there are only 18 legislative days before the July 4th recess, before the campaign season takes over. But you still have time to change history. If you do nothing on immigration, I guess you can take comfort in knowing that from Abraham Lincoln to George W. Bush, you had a pretty good run. Freeing the slaves, winning the Civil War, interstate highway system, those all go in the highlight column. And there have been a few lowlights as well. All our grandchildren will ever know of Republicans as National Party will be what they read in the history blogs. And they will look at 2014 as the year it all slipped away, unless you act soon. With or without immigration reform, Latino voters are a force that is growing faster than Republicans can withstand and are tilting more towards the Democrats with each day Republicans stand in the way of stopping deportations that are breaking up immigrant families. Today, today, Tuesday, 2,000 Latino citizens born and raised in the United States, right here in the United States of America, will turn 18 and become eligible to vote. That's 2,000 a day and every day until Election Day 2016. But wait a minute. That will continue for the next 30 years. That's 65,000 citizens a month with or without immigration reform for the next 30 years. Throw in women, younger voters, Asian voters, and others who are strongly in favor of immigration reform, and the Republican Party has dug quite a hole for themselves by standing with Steve King of Iowa. Two million more Latinos voted in 2008 than in 2004 and tilted heavily to the Democrats after the Sensenbrenner bill, a Republican enforcement-only bill that criminalized immigrant families. Two million more Latinos voted in 2012 than in 2008 and tilted even farther to my side because of Romney's anti-immigrant message. And we aren't even registering the citizens in our community and the numbers we're capable of, but we're getting better at it every year. Right now, I think House Republicans are at a crossroads. Many, including the Speaker, I think, want to get the immigration issue resolved before the 2016 elections. They know that the next few weeks offer the only chance Republicans have to both solve a tough American issue and get some of the credit for doing so. Others are already crouching in their anti-Obama bunkers and want to play it safe this year, regardless of the consequences for the future. Conservative columnist Juan Williams calls this the trap Obama is setting for the Republican Party. Williams knows, as I do, that President Obama can act with or without Congress, given the latitude he already has under existing immigration law. Williams wrote in Roll Call, quote, the House's lack of action can open the door for Obama to take unilateral action on immigration reform. And I tell you, he will take unilateral action. He goes on to state, the political result will be to make heroes of the president and his congressional allies while leaving Republicans to explain why the Tea Party element in the House refused to deal with the immigration crisis. He further states, quote, such an outcome would cement political loyalty between the growing Latino vote and Democrats. It would also stir the Democrats' liberal base for the 2014 election. Williams is right. You have 18 legislative lays to write the policy, whip the votes, and pass the bill. That's not a lot of time. Let us work together to put my 200 Democrats together with 60, 70, 80 Republicans so we can, that we can get on board to pass a bill or a series of bills passed and let's get it done for the American people.
Mr. Speaker, I suggest the Republican majority, they do it for Abraham. They do it for George. Do it for any little boy or any little girl in America who wants to grow up to be a Republican president. But most of all, do it for our country. Gentlemen's